Imagine a future where a child can use an exoskeleton to instantly learn to kick a football just like Lionel Messi from the other side of the world. A world where a band can play live music together from different locations without any audio delay. 5G isn't just the next iteration of mobile data technology, it'll revolutionise industry and society. That's the message coming from King's College London, which together with Ericsson and two other UK universities has been working on a government-backed testbed to showcase the 5G future. One example is synchronised reality, where different environments can be brought together. Colon cancer has a very low detection rate in rural China. But 5G's ultra-low latency could make that a thing of the past. A doctor who living in an area like Beijing could perform a colonoscopy to somebody living in a remote rural location. That's the Absolutely, idea. that's right. the idea. And to add on to this... Well, Extraordinary and yet unsettling for the person maybe receiving it, it or is. not. So I the mean, person 5G has happy. to work. It has to work. <laughs> So the doctor is fully immersed into the uh, into the inspection, right? And can take some so really qualified medical uh, assessments. Yeah, he's getting a synchronized reality view of a colonoscopy in, Absolutely. in action. Right. Wow, so, the mind boggles, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ericsson reckons 5G will help create an extra 600 billion dollars in global operator revenue by 2026. Make sure we put uh, what the US is doing now with the investments in 5G, also what is uh, happening in Asia in terms of 5G rollout plans, that is uh, to a big extent paving the way for the 1 billion subscriptions that we see for 5G in, in 2023. Europe is also in pockets very aggressive in terms of moving into 5G and, and getting the benefits of 5G. So it's really good to see what we're doing here in UK, here in London, and uh, I think we can do so much more. 5G is exciting consumers and mobile phone companies, but upgrading to it will cost billions. There's not yet a use case to be able to justify that investment. I mean, these are listed companies going to their shareholders. You know, it's only a few years since they've, uh, they've asked for that sort of money for 4G. So we're, we're, we're still in a uh, period where the telecoms companies are struggling to make that stack up. You can talk as much as you like about remote colonoscopies and the wonderful power of 5G and the low latency networks, but you're going to have to sell a lot of those to make any money. In the 5G future, autonomous rovers freed from carrying the weight of their own processing power could be controlled by artificial intelligence. Tourists arriving in London could navigate complex 3D maps of the city, overlaid with augmented reality bubbles of real-time information. But it looks like there's still a bit of work to do to convince telecom shareholders it'll all be worth it. Daniel Garahan, Financial Times, London.